There are two easy ways to make a multi-project or portfolio level report using separate Microsoft Project files and one pager, such as the one you see here on the screen. In this example, my separate project files are represented in my swim lanes, and then I have certain taskbar and milestone shapes collected into rows. All methods require a couple of items that must be set up properly within your separate source project files first prior to launching one pager. The first is the level zero summary task, which is what one pager uses to differentiate the data between your project files. To display this, you can open project and click file, options, advanced, and then check the box to show project summary task. This value will now display as row zero. If any of these level zero summary tasks match between your files, then you will need to change them to ensure that they're unique in order for this to work right. The second is your flag column selection. You must use the same flag column across all of your project files when you are creating a visual in one pager, as you can only select one flag column in the one pager choices form. Once you have those two items set, launch one pager and click new. The first method of creating a one pager Gantt chart from multiple project files is only available in version 5.3 or later and begins by clicking Add Remove in the Selected Files section of the One Pager Choices form. Here in the Data Source Selection box, you will be able to navigate to each project file in your directory that you'd like to get data from in order to eventually create your visual. When your list is complete, click OK. The first time you try this, you must make sure to choose a multi-project template from your available templates which has a particular setting that allows one pager to uniquely recognize data as coming from the separate files. Multi-project Gantt view detailed is a good one to start with. Complete the one pager choices form with a title, task selection, and snapshot date, then click create new project view. At this time, one pager will go get the data from the separate project files and render me the visual based on my data and the settings in the multi-project Gantt view detailed template that I had selected. The second method of creating a multi-project view involves a master project file in Microsoft Project. To create this, make a new project document, then navigate to the Project tab in Microsoft Project, where you will find this sub-project button on the left. When you click it, a Windows Explorer will pop prompting you to choose a file you'd like to embed into your new master. Once you have the sub-projects in your master, you can then use that file to create a new project view in one pager, as you would using any other project file. Let's move into the project view that I already created to talk about some other tips. At this point, everything in front of me is customizable, and I'm going to make some changes here to allow me to achieve the look and feel that I showed you initially. The first thing I'd like to modify is the organization of shapes in the rows, which I can do manually with dragging and dropping, but I prefer to let the software do it. Right now I have a very tall Gantt chart. If I open the Project View Properties, or PVP as we call it, and go to the Rows and Swim Lanes tab, I can see that my template initially set up the chart to make one row per task. Since the width of the chart in one pager is static, putting all of my shapes into their own row gave me a very tall chart because I had lots of tasks and milestone shapes. However, I know that I want to collect my tasks into a common row based on the values that I've entered into the text 29 column in my project file. Let me jump back to project where you can see the values I placed into the text 29 column. Basing your settings in one pager off of common values in a text column is particularly helpful when your outline levels in your project files aren't consistent. Back in my PVP form, I need to make sure to choose the value for collect up to n tasks per row and dial that value up. This will allow one pager to put the milestone shapes on top of the Gantt bar. The collect tasks automatically setting will do its best to avoid overlapping shapes, which won't help me here. I'm also going to show row labels and make sure to choose the text 29 column to drive display of those labels. This will turn on that second column in my chart 
next to the swim lanes to show my phase values. If I click OK at this point and close my PVP form, you can see the organization starting to take shape, but I've still got a couple more changes to make. My shapes are taking up a bit of room in my rows in terms of height, and I need to take that space back in order to put labels on the top or bottom of the shapes. So I'm going to go to my Taskbars tab of the PVP and change my Gantt bar height settings. Right now, my bars are set to be a percentage of row height, which means my bar height is based on my row height. I'm going to make my bar height absolute or static, which means that no matter how tall I make my rows, my bars will remain the same in terms of height. My bars in the previous example were also a light gray, so I'm going to set it up so that my shapes are all light gray here. While I'm in this tab, I'm also going to turn off taskbar labels, which I don't need, percent complete, critical path segments, and baseline markers, all of which are unnecessary for this visual. Now I'll go over to the Milestones tab and make some of the same changes there, with the exception of height. I want my milestone shapes to be a bit larger than my taskbar shapes. Lastly, I'm going to go to the Page Layout tab and dial my row height up a bit, which again won't impact the height of my shapes because they're now set to be absolute. Let's click OK and see where I'm at now. Getting closer. Now I need to set one pager up to conditionally format my milestone shapes based on the values in my task name column. To control conditional formatting rules, open the PVP and go to the taskbars or milestones tab. At the bottom of those tabs, there is a button that says manage rules in the conditional formatting section. I've already created some rules here to save time, but have them turned off. Notice that each rule is set to control color and milestone shape based on values in the name column, which is the task name column in my project data. If I turn these rules on and commit the changes in the PVP form, notice that my visual is complete, except for modification of some label directions, which I will have to manually manipulate. We hope you found this video on multi-project Gantt charts helpful. And please let us know if you have another topic you'd like in video form by emailing support at onepager.com.